Woo-hoo. December 26th, Saturday at about 1.35. We're clocking in at 1.38. Who do one, we one have? 1.38. I was here at your house at 6 o'clock, though. Is it 1 o'clock? Yeah, one, Okay, 1 I thought it was like, like late in the afternoon. <laughs> I thought it was like 2, 4 o'clock, oh, yeah? 30. But I oh, came look. over at 6.05 oh, look, I because... <laughs> I, I'm so disheveled right now. I don't know what's disheveled? going on. <laughs> well, I'm we have, have my headphones on. I know that camera angle is all crooked on me. I forgot Hold my the riff. Okay, you got it. No. There you go. You look you look handsome, dear, oh, so. there. There you go. I am just so out of sorts right now. And so who do we have, man? Well, if you look up right there, we've got Woo-hoo-hoo! Chef Kuhia, yeah. all the way from Wailuku, Maui. Hawaii is own chef, everybody. Yay. So, uh, aloha, chef. Thank you for coming. Hello. I, I'm a chef in my own home. Though. Yes. So, I, um, I, like, I like the title. It's like, aloha, chef. Yeah. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what a great shot here we have of you. It uh, looks like you're dealing with some produce. Some fresh veggies. Okay. So Your we, favorite. So, we have a French dish, vegetarian. Vegetarian? French, French, French vegetarian dish. What do you know the name be? Um, I'm gonna try it. Ratatouille. Yes. Well, Something like that. Wait a minute! I saw that movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you said they're vegetarian dish, so where does the rat come in? Oh my god! <laughs> let's let's have uh, Miss Kuhia here talk about her incredible creation because it it's it's unbelievable. I mean, Please we've do. been filming from early this morning. I think she's wonderful, and the dish is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. And doing this. Uh, holiday season is just a perfect dish to to display oh yeah well, well i'm wondering why you folks are tired when i did all the cooking <laughs> <laughs> you know why because somebody was making me laugh this oh, morning. Yeah. That's right. well it, this is not my creation but this is something that i wanted to try for a long time because somebody made it for me once and yeah. the flavor and the taste and the experience was so unforgettable it was always on my bucket list to like try that. and make it so this is actually my Second time, uh, I just made it recently as a first attempt, and so today's version is my second attempt. And wow. I, I did a couple of things to make it my own, so I hope you like it. What did you do to make it different? Uh, I put a little me. bit of chili pepper flakes to give it a little kick, okay. and because my husband over there loves cheese and you know, ratatouille, rats <laughs> love cheese. <laughs> I put some cheese in it. <laughs> no, it's um, and I notice um. Uh, during the course of the morning, as the prep um, day, he was explaining to me. Um, he was cutting everything more uh, thin, right? A little more right. slim line or whatever. Right. It, it helps with the cooking process, but also I think it's gonna be really nice when we eat it and everything is uh, not quite paper thin, but a lot right, thinner than right. the last time I made it. So uh, I hope you like it. Uh, we we. I know I do because I tried your your first attempt at it mm-hmm. and. Um, a lot of things are different from this time around, Chef. Um, so could you please um, run us down? Okay, we know the name, Ratatouille. It's mm-hmm. a French chef, uh, not French chef, French dish. Mm-hmm. But could you could you run us past maybe the ingredients? Sure. So it's a vegetable stew. Okay. And so it's it's vegetarian. So this um, it's good for people who really like to get a lot of fresh produce in their diet and be healthy. So... We have um, sort of three steps to this dish, but the first one is preparing all the vegetables. So we have, um, usually there's eggplant in this dish, Mm -hmm. but um, because I'm allergic to eggplant, I had to substitute with something that I could eat. So I put in potato. Okay. So slices of potato, we have tomatoes and zucchini and yellow squash or yellow zucchini or summer squash. So those were the, what what you're gonna see layered in this dish. And then there's a sauce that okay. is a tomato base, and it has a bunch of bell peppers and onions and garlic yeah. and basil, a lot yeah. of fresh herbs in this dish. Right. So, so that's kind of like the, the layout right there, the layout of the, the outline. Yeah, and then there's one more layer to this, though. After everything's layered in the pan in the sauce, mm-hmm. then there's a herb seasoning layer on top made up of fresh herbs and more garlic. Wow. I love garlic. How about you, B? I, I, no, I love it. I love it. It, it reminds me of uh, um, a pan-sized pizza. 
you know, because when I seen the, like the size of the dish and it was it was such a nice. Oh, you, you, you know, you're talking about the final product. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're still here at the yeah. ingredients, <laughs> but but I, I, I feel your excitement. No, yeah, because, right, yes, right, right. So right. Likewise. Yeah. Um, so, chef, um, dealing with these ingredients here, um, I'm seeing looks like zucchini and maybe uh, you said yellow squash. Yellow squash or yellow zucchini has different names or summer squash. Now, now uh, with this recipe, if you didn't have a certain item, could you replace? Absolutely. I think yeah. this is something you can take some freedoms on. And yeah. as I said, I am allergic to eggplant. So I, I put that in um, instead of potato. I might like to try the uh, purple sweet potato. Well, that's you know, good. for yeah. the color, because okay. yeah. we eat with our eyes first, right? Yeah, you're right. And if it looks appealing, we want to try it. So, okay. yeah, definitely think you could substitute. I am, uh, I'm really liking the idea that you can uh, mix and match and, and yeah. put other things that maybe, like you said, you're, you're allergic to eggplant. Let's go a little deeper into that. What do you mean by allergic? Allergic. Do you mean, do you like you break out in a rash? Do you? you know, can't breathe, your eyes swell up. Oh, no, not what, that What exactly bad. is the symptoms of no. your, um, <laughs> your your well. hatred for eggplant? Because... Uh, <laughs> this isn't too personal. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And are I, you... Are you, uh, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, I want to get down to the bottom of this. Uh. <laughs> and you're under oath now, so... Oh, wow. No, no, this no I'm just... This is getting really serious. Anyways. No, I, I actually... <laughs> I wish I wasn't allergic to eggplant because I like eggplant, but it kind of gives me... Um, kind of those feeling the prickly feeling in your mouth oh, okay. so i don't know what yeah. it is right, about right. Yeah. this uh, i think that has to do with the frontal lobe of the brain <laughs> so right here so like if you have like say you you, you took a, a a bite of eggplant and this is your frontal lobe watch what happened <laughs> oh that's ugly <laughs> yeah that's, really that's ugly. a very oh uh, summer squash of you <laughs> very summer squash of you and bell peppery of you yeah. Okay. Um, making yeah. Ma making the sauce. Now, now you, I love this sauce. I don't know what you do to it. There's obviously a lot of love that goes into it, and that's one of the main ingredients. It's, I, I it's the only part of it that you actually have to stand at the stove and cook and okay. prepare. Okay. So, t so tell us about the tell us about the sauce. Chef. The sauce. So as um so it starts off with sauteing a, a lot of chopped onion and like how much is a lot. Um, a whole onion, a whole round just one, onion. Just one, just one? Just one. Yeah. And, I, you know, you chop it pretty fine. I'm so, I try not to cry as I'm chopping the onion, but I, I don't have the secret for Oh, for yeah. so you start tearing up when you cut the onions. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. but Me yeah. too. But that, you know what? That's fine. Because you are human. You are mortal like us. So when we who doesn't cut onions and their eyes water? Raise your hand. I've tried all kind okay. of techniques. I put on my glasses. Um, right. I try uh, wetting the onion and the knife and bread under your tongue, and nothing has really worked. So I don't know what the secret is. Okay. Well. But if somebody knows, I'd like to know. Is okay. it okay to ask her what kind of knife, to, uh, what brand that she oh, yeah. uses? Uses. It's it's a it's a Japanese knife. Yeah. I've, ha I've is had. It the, is it the no? Ginsu? It's not a Ginsu knife. You know, those you don't have to sharpen. Have you seen the commercials? I have. No. You, they, can, they, you can cut a soda can. The commercial goes a little bit like this. Yeah, give me a tune. I didn't know they had a song. Ginsu, that? Ginsu, Ginsu, Ginsu. <laughs> Ginsu. That doesn't sound God. Japanese. No, it sounds more mid <laughs> Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, the that. knife really matters uh because yeah. the, the the prep work that she did you know just uh, uh, of course a lot of cutting and measuring and yeah. Yeah. so yeah. the sauce is very savory wouldn't you say oh it is savory and and yeah that's i think what appeals to you but that shot that you had up before Not that was my first attempt so that's why the vegetables are thicker yeah, and it was it still tasted good but you know i'm gonna go here i'm gonna do a close-up of the uh the old sauce oh and man, that looks good. Man, that looks like the brain. It does look like the looks brain. Looks like lava. Yeah. Looks like, like if the brain went. <laughs> oh, that's gross. I'm going to edit that out, by the way. <laughs> I'm just goofing around. So, okay, the sauce. Now we're, we're looking at. Um, from too much laughing. Now, all these veggies that you're cutting. See oh, all this? look at that. Now, this, this version, it really, um, 
highlights so you can see the veggies. Actually, when you do it, you're, you're getting like about a fraction of that thickness. Isn't that right? Right. Okay, so, so, I, so I cut today's version is sliced a lot thinner than that. Okay. I try to get it as thin as possible, c- cutting by hand. Right. So um, this particular uh, photo really... Um, uh, you can see what what the uh, what the vegetables are. You see zucchini. There's a yellow squash. Uh, there's potato in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's tomato. Yeah, and I, and I really love using local produce whenever I can. I like supporting our local farmers, and you know it's it's fresh and whenever so, it's available, I want to so, get that. So on, on a certain videos that I'm going to show and clips. It shows you actually starting from just the sauce, you know, you're making the sauce, and then now you're going to take the, the layers of vegetables that you cut, much thinner than this, I must mm. say, so mm-hmm. I don't want to give the wrong impression, that, uh, and then you kind of line them up. Right. And you're... Kind of like a deck of cards. Right, and that's called layering of the veggies, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Now... Um, lining them up. Now, after that stage, there's a, a seasoning. And herb seasoning, right? Could you tell us a little about a little bit about that stage of uh, making the herb seasoning? Yeah, well, there's there's some seasoning going throughout, you know, in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to season every layer if you can. Seasoning on the top is made up of fresh herbs, so there's parsley and more basil and garlic yeah. and salt and pepper, and and that just gets layered right over the top before it goes into the oven. Okay, great. So that's the herb seasoning. That that's the third phase, huh? Mm-hmm. It really, in conjunction with um, what we're doing here with your uh, dish, um, then the process of actually cooking it. You know, are you uh, putting it in a pot, a casserole? You are baking it? You are frying it? What are you What are you doing? Cast I guess line? you could cook it in any oven safe dish, but I like to use cast iron a lot, and I like to use my really big one. So oh yeah, cast iron. Yeah. That, so so Put in the oven and cover it and bake it for 40 minutes. And then you uncover it and bake it a little longer and wait till it gets all nice and, you know, what kind of heat do you, what kind of heat are you using? A 375. That? So it's not too, too high. Yeah. So I think anything above 400, you're actually roasting. Yeah. Something. So you're baking this, uh, let's, let's review, uh, eggplant if you're not allergic. Right. But your uh, yellow squash, um, zucchini, uh, tomatoes, Potato. potatoes, Potato. making a, a sauce. You're layering the veggies together. It sounds so involved. Oh, man, even when you, when you explain it, man. I know. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I just want to get a rice spoon and Maybe cut he a, can be a, a food canoe, critic dude. or something. Yeah. You're, you're making then, making an herb seasoning. On top of that, with all these natural... Um, there's not one. I didn't even hear anything about no meat, no no grease. No, and just there's no meat in this dish. But because I know you're meat lovers mm. and you enjoy steak, I, I made some steak for some ribeye today with some basted and some butter and garlic and thyme. Wait, fresh mm, thyme. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to interject here for a second. <laughs> so you made ratatouille, which is a... I mean, I'm not a huge vegetable fan, but when you made it the first time, uh, I believe this this picture right here with the very thick uh, mm-hmm. home style chunky cuts. That's uh, the chunky. I really style. enjoyed it, but uh, today's that, uh, version, which we're gonna see some right. video footage of. Look at the yeah. rim of that yeah. skillet. Can you see the the basil on top? Uh, and it goes down. So when you're when it's baking, you can smell the basil. That's I love basil. a lot of what you're smelling. Yeah. Isn't that pronounced basil? No, that's uh, like 63 Basil Street, no? You right. should come up with your own dictionary. No, isn't it pronounced Basil? <laughs> no, now you're talking about Flint Riviera. <laughs> Please pass the Basil. <laughs> no, but uh, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to take a little break from, from this ratatouille thing. And if you could, I want to get a close-up of that meat that you oh, cook for poo-poos. Please. Of course. I would rather serve this on a platter, but, you know, mm. the AC is on. I didn't want it to get <laughs> too cold. Oh, so, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. We like our steak medium rare. I love so it. So, here you go. Yeah. With nice uh, slices of garlic on it. 
Muscle man. That looks and it's basted <laughs> in. That looks yummy. It's basted in grass-fed butter. Oh, here you go. Oh, this is ribeye. That is pan pan seared with some grass-fed butter. I like it. I like the garlic. description. Pan seared grass-fed yeah. butter. The <laughs> way you say pine. it, it's like I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? Oh my god, I've been looking at that. Just what the way you describe it is like, oh man. I, I'm gonna so keep yummy. it covered so it doesn't get too yes. cold. Yeah. So I don't know. Would you like this me to serve stuff. you up some ratatouille? That's good stuff. Are you ready, brother? Um, I can serve it right up so we can keep talking while we eat. Yeah, let's eat and talk, yo. I think uh, yeah. Brother Brian is yeah. hungry. Yeah, I mean Let's eat and talk. We're going to the flow. There's no <laughs> rush. Please, uh, I, I wouldn't mind having a piece of that meat. And um, you have your own container right there, because you know, so you didn't have to reach oh. all the way over here. <laughs> wow! Look at you. My goodness. He's look spoiled. You look at you, <laughs> chef. Okay. Oh, chef. here's the unveiling. You ready? Here's oh, the unveiling. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let, me, let me get a camera on that. Drum roll. Do that canoe. And because it's in cast iron, it's still hot. That's awesome. That's what I love about cast iron. Yeah. Plus, I think when you cook with it, it gives you a little bit of iron in your food. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, man. I can't wait okay, for I'm this. Jail, Are you ready? Do it. Do um, it. Can we have a drum roll? All right. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. At the Riff Wailuku. All Look right. at that. That is world class, everyone. World class. Okay, let me have your plate. Okay. Thank you. Early, we are styling, brother. Look at her. Oh, man. That is just. All right. Beautiful. I'm sold. I don't believe it. That is. Hey, everybody, go out and uh, rent that movie, Ratatouille. I believe it was a, a Walt Disney show. Oh, that is perfect. Thank and you. And make know? yourself some ratatouille. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I said hot. Oh, man. Okay. You tell me if it was worth waiting all day for. Oh, of course. Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, hold I on. I want to paddle my canoe now. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that's a different episode. Yeah. And I'm going to keep it covered yes, so it stays yeah. hot. Yes. So help yourself. There's a steak for you. Okay. Oh, boy. Well. Oh, can, can we show what our ritual is when we eat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have a ritual every single time. Even if we're in like a fine dining restaurant, we have this ritual. And sometimes we get funny looks. So ready? Here you go. I like that. I saw somebody laugh at us one time, laughing with us. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, give it a okay. try and let me know what you think. Bon like appetit. Thank you very bon much, Chef. Oh, we're, we're Watch looking mahalo forward to for you. It. Mahalo, Nui. I'm going to dig welcome. into this ratatouille. Does it make you do the happy dance? Oh, man. Shut the front door. Ah, get out of town. Look at this. Ah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say something. This is the first time I tasted this. This is world class, man. Koya, this is like incredible badass. This is un unreal. Thank you so much for preparing this for us and for the world to um, see and to learn. We're just about sharing everything with everybody. And um, 
I'm full, so grateful. I'm glad you like it because you're gonna take this home mm. for oh. dinner tonight. Oh my god, this is ribeye, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's my, I think it's my favorite cut of meat. Mm. Oh man. Okay, here at the Riff, we don't have any cooking supplies. We don't have a stove. We don't even have a toaster, microwave oven. So, I wish you had a kitchen here. Well, we have a fridge with cold water. And um, don't get alarmed. That is not vodka, everyone. <laughs> that is an empty bottle that we like to chill our water in. So, what happened to the vodka that was in there? Um, no, we just went to a place that sold empty bottles. Empty vodka bottles. Mm. Okay. Well, no, okay. Well, and um, sorry to talk with my mouth open, but incredible. Um, and while everybody's enjoying this, I want people hear me smacking how rude during the interview. But um, after you've baked this, and I can see the big, big difference between um, how thinly you cut the vegetables. It, it makes a difference. It really right, does. Since you had this the first time and then now the second time, what do you think between uh, the first and the second? Well, it's, it's a little bit more delicate um, texture-wise as you eat it. Do you get more flavor cooked into it when it's thinner? Mm. No, the flavor is good. It's because the, the, the sauce is killer. Mm. Um. Do you think yeah. you could make this? Um. What, what do? You, what about you, Brian? Do you think you could make this? You I saw could, me making it. Yeah, I, I I could chop it. I mean, I I wouldn't mind trying. Honestly, I mean, it's it's so. It's just. I mean, it's time consuming, and it's but but it's just delicious. And it's healthy, so yep. but but there's no negative about cooking anything uh, that you plan to cook and share because it's all like you know labor of love, like you said mm -hmm. this morning. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just incredible. This is just incredible. Yeah, I, I like to cook for people. I mean, I don't think I'm by far the the best cook around. But you but take pride from all what I, all the dishes that you brought to the riff. Yeah. You take pride. You do it with love. And you do it with such uh, with uh, just sweet, genuine um, style and just great. It's just everything what you do is great. Yeah, it's like making a lay. You know, I, I think about the people I'm cooking for and I want to, you know, make it good mm. for them. You know, Arlen, this Yo. is the first time I tried this and I like the thin layer. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying um, the thicker uh, the, the vegetables would be, would be a less flavorful, flavorsome, but... I really like the thin, you know, the thin layer, uh, the thin cuts. Well, and the garlic is so good now. That, that is attention to detail. Oh, yeah. And um, having really good uh, knife skills, I think, for a chef is um, mm. could you eat, elementary. Could you, could you eat this without a side of meat Yeah, as a meal? I could. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe with some nice crusty bread on the side oh, or something. Man. Yeah. Crusty bread. Unreal. So, um, so chef, as we sit back and enjoy this, once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for um, uh, making this for us to You're enjoy welcome. and also sharing the um, process oh, with, yeah. our, with our viewers so that, um, you know, just like that movie, Ratatouille, what, what, you making this, was it inspired by watching the film or did you, I mean, it had to be. Because I've never heard of Ratatouille before that movie came out. Well, that was the first time I ever heard of Ratatouille. Mm -hmm. But I, I I wouldn't say that piqued my interest as much as my friend Serena making it for me. And I I think you weren't really interested in it at that time because it's all vegetables. But I was kind of glad because I ate the whole thing myself because <laughs> it was so good and I couldn't stop eating it. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> But I'm glad you like it now. You know... um. To have an entirely vegetarian meal is not really on my priority list when I'm hungry. But for some reason, because when you see when somebody prepare it from ground up, yeah, actually picking up each vegetable, wherever you find it, wherever you, you appreciate, it, You appreciate it. And I've seen it to a final product. And let alone that we, 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 we got early. We filmed everything. We actually moved our whole whole studio, by the way, guys. Yeah. 
we had our first time mm. inaugural event. We right? had a, we had a new photographer guy with the guy, the amateur guy, the guys at the riff. <laughs> the riff. <laughs> we actually left our 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 cave over here, our studio. Right. We went out there and we set up our uh, set up all of our stuff. Our well, first offset, yeah, offset studio. And uh, so this show podcast. is uh, dedicated to um, a happy new year. Yes. And also with our our lovely guest, Kuhei, I see you over here, chef. Excuse me. Chef Kuya, um, and uh, sharing with us um, not only for our taste buds, but for our minds and our heart oh, yeah. and bodies, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. our intellectual, you know, uh, intellectual knowledge to learn how to do this and to motivate um, now um, all of us that uh, we we can cook. Yeah, you know? we are, mm -hmm. we're all chefs in our own way. Yeah. Right. You know? And I just. Um, you just some, uh, spit yourself on the, on, on the eight thousand dollar mic. Can, if I can make something uh, healthy, taste good for you, then I, I'm, that's a win. You know, I, I've been cooking for this guy for almost ten years now, and he is my biggest motivator. I think. You know, I cook for well, him the most, and uh, you know, my kids, grandkids, but by far, he's the one I cook for the most. So. Mm -hmm. He, I'm inspired to cook, and it's a challenge to make to cook things that he'll like. Well, he's a very, very busy simple. guy. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you paddle canoe a lot, so mm -hmm. I, 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 you need your energy, you know? <laughs> oh, oh okay, I see where you're going with that. <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 no he's pun in intended. No, he's do you, in the Masters. Do, do you want to show uh, huh? I'll, I'll, I'll clip it of uh, you know what? my training? If um, if you could, because okay. when I see it. you training. Did you just make up a word? Clip it. Yeah, clip it. <laughs> clip it and do it and, and get it. Okay, yeah. okay. How about this? How about we show a little? <laughs> you know what? How about we show just, just show it, man. Just a just little show. bit. No, just because you, you're you're like a such a team player. Uh -huh. And when I seen you in the hot seat, right, and leading the pack. Well, oh my gosh. Well, how do I go from pedaling, being in the front, pulling the canoe <laughs> to wind up in the back steering? <laughs> well, you broke a lot of slippers for being canoe. in the back seat and the front seat. <laughs> But I have to see that because that the power stroker that you have, I mean, it was like. Well, you know, I have to attribute that to my my high tech paddle paddles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not the the brain, the frontal lobe. No, it's the, <laughs> my actual my 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 no, paddle you, that I use. Yeah, is, well, is, what, what what is it? What what? Okay, what is the make of that? Well, just you, to, just to go offset. Well, you know what? There's there's still competition going on this year. Right, so right. So after the competition over, then I'll then I'll then uh, you, uh, I'll, okay. I'll tell what what it's made out okay, of the, okay. the company. And okay, yeah, that. yeah, of course. I, I need every edge I can get, you mm -hmm. know, uh, com competitive edge. So, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna show that. If you guys hold on, we're gonna show a little clip of my uh, my training. Anyways, <laughs> back. Let's go back. And Ratatouille to, is really good for your training. Yeah, Ratatouille. I love that movie, by the way. But anyways, yeah. um, let me let me go back a little bit to the actual making of this delicious dish. Oh man, uh, you're baking it, uh, thirty three hundred seventy five degrees. Yep. For forty minutes, now forty minutes—that's that, pretty quick to get a meal. Because when you cook rice, what? How long does it well, take to cook that's, rice? That's only the first part. Twenty-one, yeah. right? Yeah, hmm? you, you have to actually bake it for an hour oh. or more. But for the first forty minutes is covered, mm -hmm. and then you uncover it and bake it longer. And then it crisps up or Cri crisps. Yes. You, you, you look at the layers. Look at the yellow. Look at how everything is just flowing. It's amazing. It's just beautiful. We know with the melted cheese, mm -hmm. that makes it, man. Yeah. That's so cool. Was so, it 375 for one for, hour or uh, 600 degrees for what is that, 10 minutes? No, 600 that's degrees that, for 10 that's minutes. Cool, yeah, that's not a joke at the one point. Wrap the puncher. <laughs> like what, that 364, yeah, they cook the chicken. Mm -hmm. And the chicken go, you know, is it that joke one? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, come on, son. So hit me up, hit me up, boy. So you got 40 minutes, cover it up. Then you take off the aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. You continue cooking for another 20 minutes, or more, or yeah. more, and then it's done. <laughs> Ooh, boy. There, there's no uh, alcohol in this. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't spike it. I don't know how I cut my gum earlier. <laughs> I think when no. we we're poo pooing on the crackers, <laughs> no. I got a sharp cracker and I cut no, my gum. I really think that uh, rice spoon paddle that, uh, that uh, you tried. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna show that. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I'm really, uh, I really onto that. Uh, sorry mm. about that. Oh yeah, this is so incredible. I don't know where to start it. Wait a minute, man. I have to apologize. How's the steak? Oh, perfect. perfect. But 
Now it's cold because of the AC, but. But I must apologize. This is supposed to be a very professional show on a, cook, a chef. Uh, to promote, basically, to other chefs out there. Yep. And, and I, I use the term loosely, okay, guys? Because I have great respect for true chefs that do it for a living. Yep. Who went to school, who yep. trained. I hats mean, off to them. Hats off to them. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. And I've been known to um, do a little chefing myself, but nothing <laughs> in the lines of what the true chefs do. So I respect all of that. I have some, some, uh, some friends that uh, do that for a living and I just totally all respect to them. So <coughs> I say choke on my meat. <coughs> you shouldn't talk while you chew. See that's Don't what I got. when you eat Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so mahalo all the chefs out there but I just want to say that if you're at home and you have a feeling to put something together whatever you have in the house you know if, um, whatever ingredients or resources you may have you can cook something and it's proven right here mm -hmm. chef kuhel with zucchini mm. yellow squash some tomatoes some potatoes and um still actually you know what i was um speaking of using leftovers i was really proud of myself the other day when i <clears throat> made the ratatouille for the first time and i had some leftover zucchini and the yellow squash so remember, I, I made a shepherd's pie with that. Yeah. With some ground turkey, and we had the potatoes. I mashed it up, and we had shepherd's pie. Hmm. This is so yummy. I wasn't sure how a ground turkey shepherd's pie would turn out, but it was pretty good. With um, any kind of uh, innovation, you have to be willing to experiment. But also, sometimes, some of the best cooking um, innovations come from just working with what you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a question. You know, Kuya, <coughs> with the um, eggplant? Mm -hmm. So, if you're using an eggplant with this dish, you're going to cook it the same amount of time? Yeah, same amount of yeah, time. It's not going to be like lesser or whatever no. because it's a... Uh, no. Do you like eggplant? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see. I could try to make a half a pan with eggplant and the other half. Oh yeah, kind of like a pizza, like vegetarian yeah. and, and and meat lovers. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Well, I just want to say that when you're allergic to something or you think you are, that's usually the left <laughs> lobe. <laughs> this part right here of the brain that controls um, taste buds and um, <clears throat> um, uh, allerg allergic reactions. So when you go home, you find the the lobe and you kind of. Gently squeeze that part of your brain mm -hmm. like this, and then you go. Because of your, your fascination with the brain, I'll, I'll share with you what I learned there from... There, you see it? <laughs> Brian, I'll talk to you. That controls, that looks, that that controls that the, the taste buds. That right looks there, like right? a white head no, no. when I was in uh, high school <laughs> and busted a pimple on my nose. No, no, this is, the, this is the part of the brain that controls taste buds. Watch. Go ahead. And allergic reactions. Watch. Right, right, right there. Watch. Watch. Do it, son. Wow, look at that. Look at that. the taco eye. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, that? so so for um for for males, your prefrontal lobe does not fuse together. That's where you get all your ability to, to use judgment and reasoning, and it doesn't fuse together till you're about 25 or 26 years old. <laughs> but for females, it happens earlier. So that's why mm. it seems like Females mature faster. Yeah, just, yeah, they're seven years above us. Yes. Yeah, in maturity years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we're 17, she's like maturity level, <laughs> she's like 24. Seven. What is mature though? It's Tell the them. reasoning and the using, you know, good judgment and. Well, put it this way. Yeah. Mature is like, you can use a, 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 a real canoe paddle or you're going to use a rice spoon. That's <laughs> maturity. Correct. I mean, you can answer it or don't answer it. Just don't have to. I'm just, I'm just, I just, just blurbing it out. I'm just looking at the green specks on the ceiling. Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, but. Oh, they're not moving today. No. Um, <laughs> so, this episode is definitely a lot to edit out. A lot of um, things, but what I really wanted to 
continue with mm -hmm. to link up with all the, the photos we've been taking is um, photography. Photography. We just had a, a great um, gift mm -hmm. from Ms. Kuhel over here. Much mahalo again, yeah. Where she had brought Thank in you. amazing guys. And, and you guys will be seeing a lot of this uh these shots uh, in the upcoming episodes. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful and amazing uh, photographer on Maui uh, named Brian Berkowitz. He's done Brother a, Brian! Yeah. Mahalo to him for coming over and Mahalo. hanging out with, uh, with us at the Riff. That was fun. Yeah, week. he had a lot of fun with you guys. And we did uh, a little fun with photo and posing and uh, artifacts and... Um, and costume changes, and he just made it so much fun. So, want to really um, shout out to him, and he is definitely around and uh, available. If you if you uh, don't have to try too hard to find him, uh, we could definitely steer you in the right di direction. Uh, but what we did, me and B did, was just a, a fun filled, uh, goofing around uh, photo shoot. Just two two old friends just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, he was working so hard trying to keep up with you guys. Yeah, smiling, don't smile, cap, no cap, yeah, glasses, black, no, no glasses. He didn't even have to tell you to smile. You yeah. guys were just doing oh it the God. whole time. My jaws were so sore after from smiling all that time <clears throat> and laughing. It's a great time, so yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, yeah, Welcome, thank Merry you, uh, Christmas. Yeah, thank you, thank Brian you for here. Berkowitz, yes. photography, mahalo. Um, let's see, um, going back to your, um, your idea, I, I think, is this something that we could... Um, bring Kuhia back every um every ev week every now and then to like the every two days well uh, well mm -hmm. i have been your chef every week so <laughs> 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 this is the first time we're showing Man, you, i love it mm -hmm. so um i appreciate it what about um we, we know that um we have you locked in to request with, with the ample notice of course where you could cook uh, a dish something that you have mastered, something that you heard about, you want to try for the first time. And also, you know many people who um, could possibly want to share oh, their yeah. cooking. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. uh, you know, we hope that they feel free and get a hold of you, get a hold of us here at The Rift. Yeah, um, our let's email, cook together. Yeah, our email is uh, info at the riff, mm -hmm. bailuku at gmail.com. Speaking of... Um, you know shows and um guests and people who uh, have something to share wouldn't you um on another note other outside of cooking would have another um maybe a program or something to share too that maybe you might want to tell us about or oh what's or the, well, what's new on the horizon yeah oh, cool, oh yeah. what's new on the horizon for all and of next us year is, yeah next year which is coming up in next week <laughs> <laughs> what is that and, and chinese astrology in the year of the what oh I don't know. Well, Usually we know these things, but we, I think, you know, the pandemic has really taken us off course. I, I don't know. I usually know this. What was last ahead. year? What is the well, last year? Is the year of the what? Last year, 2019. The Our, rat? We're in the year, year of the rat. Right? Right and now. then what are we having now? Uh -huh. Rat flu. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> rat, rat flu. Oh, no. Oh, what about what? Is not yeah. Yeah. Isn't Next that unreal? Month, right? I just asked her, and then, then look at that. It was meant to be. So it's fitting. It's fitting, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, are you looking it up? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah. The year I, the rat I, this year was a tough year. I think people is going to be very happy about uh, what's with our uh, extension podcast oh, yeah. that we're going to do. Okay. okay. All right, yeah, guys, so here we go. So, here we go. Okay, so, oh, oh, you're pulling it up. Oh, it's the ox. ox. Year of the metal ox. Metal ox. Okay, guys. Late breaking news. Just came in. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese astrology, 2021, just came in. That 2021 is going to be the year of the ox. Not only the ox, but the metal ox. Now, in Chinese astrology, you have all the different elements. Uh, wood, fire, metal, earth, um, etc. Now we have uh, starting... Uh, but then, of course, the Chinese um, uh, lunar calendar starts uh, next year, the 21st in February, not January 1st like the Western. Mm -hmm. So starting on February the 12th, to be exact, is uh, going to be officially the year of the metal ox. 
and um, I like that the sound of it, man. The metal ox. You know what? Yeah. That's going to be our dual name, man. So the right metal now, ox. Th- according to the Chinese astrologers uh, of uh, centuries and years and years of uh, study of this, um, they're stating that the ox is the second out of twelve zodiac signs. Okay, so uh, the rat is first, of course, in the in the twelve zodiac signs, and of course we have the ox second. So the year of the metal ox comes right after the year of the metal rat. And everybody knows that 2020 uh, was a challenging year, and it's still going on, and that was the year of the rat. So what do we have to look forward to, guys, in the year of the ox? Well, I'm not going to read this, uh, but if you guys want to go and, and research that and have a little entertainment fun, uh, you know, how serious you take this is, is ex- you know, extremely up to you uh, why well, I like to be entertained by this. And let me just read a little bit. Uh, the ox is very hardworking and methodical. 2021 is going to be a year when work will get rewarded. Mm, sounds good. Sounds good for the riff. Sounds great for the riff, huh? <clears throat> so what is the extension um, thing that we're going to do for the riff, darling? Well, even though we're not oxes, right? But the year of the ox brings that kind of energy. Mm-hmm. So, but if you are an ox, then even more so, right? Uh, let's see. Those people with the zodiac sign of the metal ox this year, uh, money would be, uh, will take a considerable effort if you are in the sign of the ox. But you can with, with considerable effort. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't say about the people who are not ox, but... Uh, <clears throat> There's some other things uh, involved, uh, and uh, I'm not going to get into that because as I read it, it's looking more and more glum. Uh, so getting back to um, <laughs> your your glum no, that's glum work, no, that's no, very no. impressive of no, your no. G words. No, no, I'm joking. But um, I, I just, I just my, um, getting back to this incredible chef we have here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna um, edit all what that is, uh, what, what is what what is what is <laughs> next this is on what that? Happens at home all the I time. I know. I mean, I, I I stayed with this guy from four o'clock this morning. It was uh, torture and happiness uh. and <laughs> painful and laughing. Mm. But yeah, what's on the horizon? Uh, Oh, yeah, next year. So, yeah, so very um, excited to have this opportunity with the, the Riff yeah. to uh, branch out. Oh, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you should record that. Yeah, I like that. And, uh, yeah, so we'll start a new podcast together. Um, so, and it's going to be called. Do it. Drum roll. Conservation Conversations. Yes. Whoa. So okay. How's that? Yeah. We're going to have a, 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 a brother-sister act here. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So many of my you yeah. know, years, uh, many over the past couple of decades, I, I spent working in the field of conservation. Yes, so right. natural resources, conservation, environmental education. Mm-hmm. And even though I have kind of made a career change mm-hmm. in the last few years, it's, you know, something that I've still remain involved passionate in and about it yeah, yeah it's it's a way of life it's kind of like what they say about baseball baseball mm-hmm. is life for me conservation is life so uh, the Terrific. riff is going to give me this opportunity to get back to that and reach out to some uh folks i know in the field really awesome knowledgeable folks who uh, we can talk stories it's going to be a zoom right you said you yeah, kind of thinking about it zoom yeah, yeah? well at uh, first we'll do it by zoom because yeah. of covid because and, happening, and yeah. you know it's a it's a, actually a great opportunity because there are some uh former colleagues who work on the mainland now so yeah. you know it's it's an opportunity to reach out to people by zoom <clears throat> i think so is it is it more national or are you going to go international talking to other scientists or i mean or are you going to keep it within the national I, I mainly boundaries? mainly i will focus on maui and hawaii right right um and some folks who are on the mainland now mm. who have worked in in hawaii but the the Hawaii has such an incredible story to tell. Right, right. That is ever evolving and changing. When you look at Hawaii, we are the microcosm for the world in terms right. of what happens to our environment and losing species and climate change. And so, you know, all the world needs to do is look at us and what we're going through and, and to know what they're going to face if they don't change things. Well, you know, it sounds very exciting that you have uh, um, colleagues, associates, and connections. 
with all these different people in in that um, category of conservation. Very exciting, B, huh? Yeah, man. And I, mean, yeah. I, look I, I can't wait to we cook for her. Wait, you know? wait, wait. Wait, wait, what? How do we go back to cooking? We were talking about... <laughs> <laughs> What, no. what, what's your specialty? What are you, I know what his specialties are. I'm what, a, uh, sort of. What are I yours? I kind of like are there. I, I, I love I love my cheeseburgers to be honest. Right. Well, steak. And then, you, uh, you I, steak I, yeah, right? I love I love chop steak. Um, uh, just the, the hamburger steak. Do you like uh, simple brain? <laughs> <laughs> I watch the Food Network a lot, and yeah. there, there are sometimes you know they have dishes that oh, I like use my, uh, interesting mm. ingredients like brains. Mm. I like lasagna. I, I really like the lasagna. You know, just I mean, have you made it from scratch? No, I never did. No. That would be a challenge. Yeah, That'd be a challenge. We could I'm do uh, that. I'm wondering here. So, but no, we we, we want to make a meal when she does her. Um, podcast oh yeah i want to do a meal with you brother and then we just come back here mm -hmm. and we eat our first meal with her and then we just kind of you know we chop it up and then we cook it up and we come back and hello oh, so you're talking about a meal from scratch not opening no 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 no, oh, no. Okay. no not going down to uh, picking up a hamburger steak no and let's mean, take a look at this arlen and i is gonna do it look okay oh you have video yeah just a little preparation look here. at that Oh, yeah, I can see I started lining up the vegetables in the pan. Yeah, a lot of people say that, oh, they've never seen it this way before, but they, they've seen it stacked up vertically. Look at that. It, it looks like uh, green milk covers. Huh? Look uh -huh. at that. Oh, you can play Pog with yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> You see, people, look at the preparation, everyone. That is look so cool. Look at that. Um, and it's delicious. You stack it up. Like chips, uh, like like a like a poker chips. Yeah, huh? look at that. I don't know why succotash just came to my mind. Looking at all those vegetables, but I think succotash is a look how like nice a the formation though. Everything is so I think it's squash. precise, man. Oh no, no, I, I take that back. Succotash is um, lima beans and corn. Oh, is it? Yeah, when you when you mix lima beans, oh, and okay, corn, succotash. Mm. It's not an actual vegetable. It's a yep. company. It's a dish combined with two and. Um, yeah, so there's a sauce, and you can see the all the bits Look of at that sauce. bell mm. pepper in there. Yeah, it's it's, and it's herbs. incredible. There's fresh basil in there. So I would say um, to say much mahalo to uh, um, Chef Kuhail here, and we we'd like yes. to thank you so much for gracing uh, our uh, the riff like you do, but this time as not only a uh, a home chef. Uh, a great a, home chef. A great home yeah, chef. Yeah, a great one. And um, we look really looking forward to your um, your own show coming yes. up. That will be, of course, uh, yes. produced by the Riff. But, uh, we Next won't, month. Yeah, but we yeah. won't be in it. Uh, no, it's no, all no, you. No, 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 uh, no. We'll probably be behind the scenes. Yeah. We'll be the butlers uh, serving her and, <laughs> you know. Um, and um, so, any, and uh, so you're going to do some research and find your connections for a very interesting shows for us. Yeah, I'm already building my list of, yeah. you know, we have such awesome folks in conservation here and working hard every day to, you know, protect our our forests, our watersheds, our air. How about the erosion of the islands on the, uh, the beach Yeah, we've got yeah. folks who All look at that, that yeah. too. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's what a lot of folks who uh, are working in watershed protection do. You know, they're keeping the forest healthy and right, right. the land from eroding and down into the ocean. Because a lot of people don't know about what's happening even uh, at, at the crater. You know, like... Right. Um, Everybody's so caught mm -hmm, up in their mm -hmm. in their own cubicles in Wailuku, mm -hmm, Kahului, mm -hmm. Lahaina, but yeah. up at the forest, yeah, well, that's a whole different world, man. Yeah, we'll get them on conservation conservation yeah. conversations. The conservation conversations. Oh, like do I get to play ping pong? Oh, oh yeah. yeah wait, 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 wait. We got yes. Hold on. And, and hold on. who who am I gonna uh, compete your, against? Uh, this guy uh, called your husband. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here, I'll let you serve. We're very I'll competitive I'll against I know, each other, though. I know. I'll let you serve. Okay, here it goes. Um, we, Kuhir is going to serve to Brother Arlie. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to start it up as we head out. Okay, you guys, much mahalo, you guys. And we've got, oh. okay, two out of three. Oh, two out of three now. <laughs> <laughs> I just made my Wait own rules. Sorry. Oh, Hold on. Lost the ball already. Okay. Oh. By the way, you listen okay, to Brother Arlie's uh, original. 
from his one of his uh, CDs. There we go. Okay, one one. This is the this is the winning shot. I guess I'm the, this the winner. winning shot. Winning shot. Thanks you guys. Much mahalo. And the riff Wailuku. Thank you, Kuya. Aloha. Aloha, everybody. See you guys. Good night. Good night.